Hi, welcome to my channel Coding Skills. In this video, I am going to discuss about how we can check if the given input string is a valid date or not. So, why we need to check the valid date? Basically, date has certain formats which need to be validated before making and before confirming it as a valid date. So, I'll navigate back to the Eclipse editor to show you how we can implement the same in a Java programming. Creating new Java class. Select and public static void main method. Importing scanner. I have to read some data from the keyboard. Creating input instead for the scanner. And mapping it to input stream. Printing a message on the console requesting user to enter some string value. So we'll also mention certain format as information. So I'll just give the format as So we are going to request the user to enter in the particular format. Reading a string value and storing in a string variable. Okay. So now we need to validate the string variable to check whether the, the, the input value is, an, is of the particular format. So I'm going to create a public static method. Public static boolean and So we are going to call this particular method in this one. So let me implement it. So I'll create it. I'll import some of the required classes. Java dot dot Let format dot 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 so dot pattern. So these are the required classes. I'm also creating public sorry private pattern and put. Creating a static variable to hold the pattern. Pattern dot compile. Here we are going to give the pattern that we are looking for. So basically this caret symbol indicates that the regular expression must match at the beginning of the line. And this dollar symbol indicates that the regular except, um, expression must match at the end of the line. So this should be the beginning, this indicates the beginning and this indicates the ending. So in between, if you look at it, these are the slashes are escape sequences. And here D2, D2, D4 indicates that D means it accepts a digit, which is ranging from zero to nine. So here we have mentioned D2 means it will accept two digited number. The same way here also it will accept two digited number and here it will accept four digited number. So this is to accommodate the day value and this is to accommodate the month value and this is to accommodate the year value. 
So this is what the pattern that we are trying to validate against the string that is going to be given by the user. We just created a pattern as a static variable. Now we'll check against this pattern. Pattern dot. Method data stream one by one function. It has a method. So if the pattern is valid, then it is going to return true. So that means if the given input value is within this particular pattern, then it's going to return the true. Otherwise, it is going to return a false value. So we will check, we will call this method. The passing a string variable that you have here. If this is true, then only we are going to perform the validation on the date. If this is false, obviously, what we can do, we can mention the we can request the user to enter it. Is enter date value in the given format. That means dd hyphen mm hyphen four ways. Suppose if the given value is in a different format. So here we are going to perform the actual validation. So for that also, I'm going to create a separate method. Public Boolean is valid date and by default we are returning false. So for this we are going to use a simple date format. So we'll also create a should simple data parameter new no. simple data format. Here we are going to use the pattern. One dot set union equal to false. We are going to use try catch. So within the try block, what we are going to do? We are going to validate. It format dot parse with data string value. So while executing this parse method, if there are no exceptions, means given date is valid date. In that case, what we can do? We can simply return true. Suppose if there are any exceptions occurred in between, obviously till now wait to catch block. So here we are going to return false. This indicates that the given date is a valid date or not. I'll show you by implementing this. I'm going to invoke the. See, this is unreachable code because we have already written here. So we can remove this. 
I'm going to invoke this particular method. Here. So is validated and we are passing the input value. So if this is going to return true value, means what we are going to say that the given value, given date is validated. Valid. Else we can say that given date is invalid. So we are almost done with it. Let's scan from the beginning. So here uh, we are trying to read the value from keyboard. After that, we are checking whether the pattern is valid or not. If the pattern is invalid, we are printing a message in the console requesting the user to enter a value in a particular format. If it is valid, then we are actually performing the check again as the valid date. If it is valid date, so we are passing the same input value. If this returns true, we are printing the message that given date is valid date. Otherwise, given date is invalid date. So if you look at the actual methods, so valid format how we are checking there is a pattern that we have defined as a static variable by with a specific format so which has a like a matcher method which matches so if this returns true means the given like user inputted values of type valid format and uh, the other method is valid date is we are using simple date format and for that format uh, or object we are passing a Data object like whatever string object, whatever we have received from the keyboard. If there are no any no exception as part of converting this particular method, we can classify it as a. There are no issue in the date validation. So the, which means the given date is validated. Otherwise, if there are any exception occurred, usually we'll get a pass exception. So in that case, we are classifying it as a invalid date. By returning a false value. So I'm just running this program. Let's run it and see. And as so please enter a date in a particular format. So I'm just trying to enter 02 2020. The given date is valid date. So now I'm going to enter 2021 with the same thing. Twenty twenty one. The so given date is not a valid because twenty nine and Feb is uh, this is not a leap year, right? Since given date is uh, invalid date. So let's try with it. Twenty twenty two. Twenty nine zero two. Twenty twenty two. This also invalid date because even this year also it is not a leap year. Obviously, it is an invalid date. What happens if you enter something? So please enter. So this is not at all a date, not even a date format at all. So please enter date value in a given format. So which we are getting from the main else block. So please like the video and share it with your friends. In case if you are having any questions, please comment me so that I'll be able to respond to your comments at the earliest. Thank you very much. Bye.